So when Avatar 1 re-released in theaters for the 4K 60fps remaster, mostly just to build hype for the second movie, I went to watch it and I was literally the only person in the IMAX theater. And I watched it in 3D. The movie was genuinely so bad. 3D has some interesting depth, but it's not worth the reduction to peak brightness, at least in a cinema. An IMAX theater can only display a peak brightness of around 80 nits. And 3D glasses essentially drop that in half, so you're only getting 40 nits. HDR10 peaks at 1000 nits, which is probably why 3D in theaters is mostly a failed technology. Literally no one cares about it. What movies even release with 3D nowadays except for Avatar The Way of Water, of course, which is going to be complete trash. The CGI in this movie aged so horribly, like, you would have no idea. I remember watching it back in the day, I thought it was good, but what was I, like 10 at the time? I was dying over how bad the script was. It's like one of those amusement park rides where you're just taken along for a ride and they don't care about the script, but they just want you to see the visuals. And I definitely changed my mind on the audio quality of IMAX. The reverberation time is simply way too high for speech-dominated content. When you see a video on a screen and you hear sounds reflecting around your room, there is some cognitive dissonance because you want to be transported to the world where the video is being held, which is why I honestly think headphones are better for watching videos, aside from the lack of the feeling of bass in your body. Dolby Cinema should solve the reverberation time issue in IMAX to a large extent, purely with the number of speakers increased. There was a study done showing that the more speakers you added, the less need there was for room treatment. And Dolby Cinema has 215 speakers, which is a huge amount. You don't even have to deal with phantom images because there are just so many speakers. The mid-range in IMAX is definitely too boosted. It was very harsh sounding. Honestly, I don't know why the X-curve is still a thing. It's just really dumb. It does not sound good at all. The script was unbelievably corny in Avatar. Half the plot events didn't make any sense. You also have to wear those stupid 3D glasses when watching a movie. If you already wear glasses, double glasses feels terrible, so you're basically forced to wear contacts or get LASIK treatment, I guess. But even then, it's still a worse experience than 2D, at least on an IMAX projector. Avatar 2 is a complete joke, so is IMAX 3D. You can watch this movie if you want, I don't really care, but... I'm just telling you that if you own a nice TV and already have a pretty good audio system, this is going to be a terrible experience. I'd like to give a shout out to Munalos, Ninja Coma 3, Hunter, Vsauce 4, Linuxternal, Waitacre, Sinivri, Tripped, and Fofo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. If anyone else wants to support, please be sure to join the Patreon or the YouTube membership, link down below.